Hello, my friends. Today we have second part of my lesson about Motif Dion. We are using scheme like this. If you want to download this scheme, you can visit our free crochet patterns group on Facebook. Link you will find below this video. In this group, you will find a lot of useful information, everything for free. So you will be able to make really beautiful projects by using our schemes and video tutorials. And right now we will continue to work and uh, we will create beautiful motif Dion. Uh, this threads I am using for motif Dion, four different colors of Sapphire looks, and I want to present you a super offer. You can uh, use a really nice offer and you can order these threads, these four cons, uh, by using link below this video. Together with these threads you will get gifts from me. This will be my favorite crochet hook 1.7 millimeters. Also amazing elements created by me by using my favorite threads. Also I will send you colored schemes for really beautiful motifs and you will get flower talisman. You will uh, receive a lot of inspiration to create crochet projects beautiful crochet projects so this super offer are waiting for you this thread was tasted by me in practice so be sure that you will love them and don't miss out this fantastic opportunity also don't forget to press like below this video if you enjoy to watch videos like this about elements i will be very happy to see your uh, yes positive comments also below this video subscribe to our channel because each week i am placing um, videos about new motifs so don't miss out them yes will be interesting now we can continue our work so like i told you we finish to make first tweak uh, at the first part of uh, yes of lesson about this element so if you uh, didn't watch this first part right now you can watch this part and you can uh, start to make this element and now I will continue to make these tweaks and I will finish uh, this row I will show you how to finish uh, this one row and we will start to make last row will be interesting so I made sweet tweaks and now I'm making the last one so here I should make switching loops and the last cluster two times yarn over and sweet treble crochet stitches with one top point Now I have four loops on the hook, yarn over, join them, and after we should join to this single crochet. Next, around this arch, three single crochet stitches, like this, and joining to the beginning of this row, we have here two chain loops to the second chain, insert hook below two threads and make a slip stitch. I will change colors, for the last row I will use this golden beige color, very beautiful number is 803 from this color we will make last row so now i need to make one chain loop cut the thread and leave tail around 20 centimeters fix the yarn in such way uh, we have this design and now we will make the last row let's take golden beige thread now we will make this row with puff stitches so we have two puff stitches to the top of this cluster between them pick off from five chain loops Again, one chain loop, again two puff stitches and pick off from five chain loops. We should make them to the top of cluster, one chain loop and again the same, the same yes, system, one chain loop. And these two stitches we should make to the chain number two, one, two, yes, to this one. And one chain loop after we have three double crochet stitches and one treble crochet to the middle of pico. After pico from five chain loops and symmetrically we should repeat the same stitches. And like you can see, the last puff stitch here we should make and without chain loops, just single crochet in the middle and again start to make this beautiful edging around second week. What is the main? In the last row is the main to make everything not tight is very important because we are making contour and uh, it's uh, really it's not good if you will make it too tight, it will turn to the center and you will not uh, will be able to iron and stretch this element and make it in in one level so be careful make this last row a little bit loose now like i told you before in our first part uh, we should join new thread in another point where we don't have a lot of tails so i think this part will be okay let's join in the middle where we have this puff stitch here at the top we have single crochet stitch so below these two threads Again, don't forget to leave tail around 20 centimeters. Now I will make 
this joining and just draw tail to the right side make this working loop smaller and after one time yarn over and now here we have this first cluster so below two or three threads insert hook at the top of this cluster and make this beautiful bubble so three times make this long loops and now i have seven loops on my hook yarn over and draw through six loops now i have two loops on my hook yarn over and draw through two loops now let's make five chain loops and to the first chain insert hook below two threads yarn over and draw through everything i made pico now one time yarn over to the same point i will make the same puff stitch double crochet so three times make this long loops now i have seven loops on my hook yarn over draw through six loops yarn over draw through two loops after this one chain loop a little bit loose and now we will go to the next cluster one time yarn over insert hook below two or three threads at the top of the cluster and make again puff stitch double crochet finish to make this stitch like we did before now make five chain loops three four five insert hook to the first chain below two threads and draw threads for everything to finish this picot one time yarn over and make second puff stitch to the same point and finish to make this puff stitch one chain loop and again go to this cluster next one insert hook below two or three threads and start to make puff stitch double crochet yes finish to make this stitch like we did before after five chain loops finish to make picot and now again puff stitch to the same point like i told you this row it should be elastic not tight it's very important and now one chain loop and this time we should work with the second chain so we have four chain loops one two three four i will work with this second chain insert hook below two threads not one and start to make this puff stitch double crochet finish to make this stitch now pick off from five chain loops the same like we did before five chain loops insert hook to the first chain below two threads and finish to make picot one time yarn over to the same point make second puff stitch double crochet and i finish this stitch now one chain loop and we will work with this middle picot so first i will make three double crochet stitches to the middle of this picot second stitch like this one time yarn over make third stitch to the same point two times yarn over again to the same picot make treble crochet stitch after picot from five chain loops make five chain loops insert hook below these two threads at the front side and finish to make picot two times yarn over now symmetrically i will make the same stitches one treble crochet next three double crochet stitches again to the same picot yes this is the top part and now we have eight stitches one chain loop now we will work again with chain but this time we should count one two three to the third chain insert hook below two threads start to make puff stitch double crochet stitch and finish to make this stitch and now make picot from five chain loops so five chain loops insert hook to the first chain make picot and one time yarn over to the same point again make puff stitch double crochet finish to make this stitch make one chain loop after work with this cluster yarn over insert hook below two threads and start to make again puff stitch double crochet finish to make this stitch after picot from five chain loops finish to make picot after one time yarn over and again make puff stitch double crochet stitch okay after one chain loop and go to the next cluster insert hook below two threads and start to make puff stitch double crochet stitch finish to make this one after five chain loops three four five insert hook to the first chain and make picot one time yarn over and make puff stitch double crochet yes to the same point finish to make this stitch one chain loop and now the last one to this cluster below two threads insert hook and start to make puff stitch double crochet finish to make this stitch after five chain loops 
finish to make this picot. One time yarn over to the same point, make second puff stitch double crochet without chain loops. Join to the middle. Here we have double crochet, uh, sorry, puff stitch, and now single crochet below two threads. Insert your hook, make single crochet, and now take second week and make the same stitches like we just did around. We are using all the time the same puff stitch double crochet stitch, all the time picot between this. Uh, yes, um, how to say it, shells, we are making one chain loop and a little bit loose just to get not tight elastic edging with bubbles, with picots, very beautiful. When you will stretch and iron this result, you will get very beautiful element. So, such edging I should repeat four times. I will show you next how to finish this row and together with you, we will hide different tails the tails in different colors this is very interesting so and also we will stretch and iron ready element uh, also i want to say if you like this video press like below also you can leave comment and uh, also i want to say that i am making workshops like this live workshops about big projects about wedding dresses blouses skirts uh, summer tops at patreon page you can join to our jetty house patreon club by using link below this video and i'm sure you will enjoy to make really fantastic new projects from jetty house crochet school yes there we are making right now wedding dress grace also summer top mermaid very soon we will start new crochet course about summer skirt from italian viscos will be very interesting i will be very happy to see you there and uh, yes we will be able to talk at the live chat at patreon page we have there right now around 50 subscribers my friends who support my work i am very grateful for this so uh, yes now i will continue my work and next we will finish our element i made uh, edging around three weeks almost finished this one the last one and i want to show you how to finish this row we just need to make the last two puff stitches to this cluster and after joining to the beginning of this row so i have one chain loop now one time yarn over and start to make first puff stitch double crochet to this cluster now five chain loops finish to make picot and once again puff stitch double crochet to this to the same point finish to make this stitch and now just joining to the beginning of this row make a slip stitch one more chain and cut the thread leaf tail around 20 centimeters now our beautiful interesting element very interesting <laughs> interesting i think in few different colors is ready and we can hide tails and together we will iron and stretch it so we will see the result also don't forget about threads once again we we are using these four colors for our element they are very beautiful together you can see so this uh, kit are waiting for you uh, we have just few kits like this and you can order this kit with beautiful gifts by using link below this video in total 400 grams because each skein or cone has 100 grams and 500 meters so these all threads are waiting for you you can use link below this video and i will send you package by ups delivery company so i will take a needle and we will hide this all tails right now so let's hide a few tails together. Uh, we should take different colors. For example, this, uh, yes, lemon, green lemon. Uh, we can say, uh, insert this tail to the uh, needle with big eye. And now carefully we will work in the lace that has the same color, yes. This bright green lemon. So I will take two times, I will take some distance in the middle of the stitches insert needle and now turn this element and in the same area just change direction i will again make like this just insert needle in the middle of stitches so like this and maybe even i can go to this part that's all if when we are working in the middle yes like this we can do two times like this but in the rest area of our element we should uh, cross this lace three times just change direction yes 
and after we can cut the tail. So we hide this color. Now let's take this beautiful light gold. We will hide this tail in petal, yes, because in such way we will get accurate results. So insert needle in the middle of these stitches first time. Now change direction and make second time like this. And after third time, in the same area, just change direction and draw this needle to this side. side. And now cut the thread very close. Third color is olive green. Uh, we can take this tail, for example, and we can take this area, I think, for our work. So first time, now change direction and just take the same area, change direction, go to this point, and once again in the same area, just like this. And now we can cut this thread. And the last color what we have, it's this beautiful golden beige. Let's take one of these threads. And let's hide this tail also in the middle of these elements, in the middle of the stitches. Yes, now let's go here. And I will insert needle again to the same part, just change direction and to this stitch also. And the last time, third, just in the middle of these stitches. And now we can cut the thread. So we hide four tails in different colors. And now I can hide the, the last. Just I will do this fast. And yes, next we will use steam iron to stretch and open our ready element. Motive Dion. Don't forget that scheme you can download from our free crochet patterns group on Facebook and the link to this group you will find below this video in description, yes. So visit our group, uh, just subscribe and use our patterns for free. We have a lot of patterns already. I am sure you will create beautiful projects by using them. All information you will find in description to this video. So don't miss out this information. Yes, now I will hide this tail. And the last tail, just let's hide this one. And I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. Um, yes, you support me a lot during few years. And together we are making really beautiful projects and new projects from JT House Crochet School. And uh, yes, each time, each month, I am making live workshops at Closet YouTube channel for my Patreon subscribers, for all my friends. And there we are making very interesting big projects. For example, right now, wedding dress and summer top. Very soon, we will start uh, summer skirt, so it's very interesting. If you want to get, uh, yes, information about this Patreon club, you can use link below this video. If you will join, you will get access to, I think, around 9 crochet courses and 49 crochet tutorials about motifs and laces. A lot of information already. And now let's take and open this element, stretch and iron. Now, very carefully, just use steam iron and 
open each twig and stretch it by fingers. Now by fingers we should make beautiful shape of our twigs, yes, symmetrically just stretch everything and fix after like this. At the both sides we should stretch an iron or element. I think it's very beautiful. These all colors are very cheerful. It's really nice for summer, <laughs> summer colors. will be enough. Now let's see to our motif. And now you can see this really gorgeous result made from sapphire look thread, very beautiful twigs, a little bit shiny, soft, silky. We have four different colors, uh, petals made from light gold thread. You can see, very beautiful. And olive green also. And elastic, we have this last row, is perfect to use for projects. Fantastic, very, very beautiful result. And I love to use different colors. Uh, in such a way, we can get very interesting motifs. Very beautiful, perfect. Just this element is really fantastic. Motif Dion, I used this element for blouses, for also for dresses. It's very beautiful. If you want to get more information about our main crochet courses, just visit our main website jtheouse.net. Link you will find below this video. There you will see a lot of crochet courses created by me during uh, seven years already. We have dresses, we have blouses, tablecloths, a shawl also caught. So a lot of information. And even wedding dress very soon. This is our new crochet course. So this element I really love and I made it by using these all threads. We have here four colors of Sapir Lux. So this element you can create also by using this original threads. This kit I prepared uh, like a super offer. You, you will find link below this video. You can order exactly these colors with gifts from me. So you will get crochet hook, color scheme, samples of beautiful elements. Yes, this all uh, just a package I will send to you by using UPS delivery company. Delivery time is around, um, I think, 7-10 days. Depends from what country you are. And yes, I am sure you will enjoy to work with these threads. This element is really gorgeous. You will get also this element, sample and color scheme printed. So this is all information you will get. Uh, so, my friends, don't forget, if you want to download, uh, yes, digital scheme for this element, uh, visit our free crochet patterns group on Facebook. Link you will find below this video. Uh, so, if you like this uh, element, if you like this video, press like below. Also, sub subscribe to JT House um, YouTube channel because each week I will add new videos about new motifs. And very soon we will uh, add also crochet courses here on YouTube channel. So, don't miss out this all information subscribe also you can leave comment below and uh, I will be very happy to see you at JT house patreon club don't forget about this there we have live workshops about new crochet projects from JT house crochet school once again thank you so much to all my subscribers at JT house patreon page uh, only with your support I can create new projects uh, everything is very interesting for me thank you so much for your love for your big support and uh, yes very soon we will have new lessons there and we will create something really special. Right now, thank you so much for watching and see you very soon at the new videos. Stay safe and bye-bye for now.